A group under the auspice of Nigeria Equity Group, NEG, has won the People's Democratic Party PDP against its choice of candidates ahead of the 2023 presidential election. The group, in a statement signed by its secretary, Mubarak Alabi, commended the All Progressive Congress APC for working actively towards having a Southern Christian candidate in the upcoming 2023 presidential election, while urging the opposition party to do the same. With the 2023 general elections around the corner, the pace, stability, and future prospect of this country is at stake. It is how well we navigate the issues around the election that will determine if spiral into crisis or pull back and begin genuine efforts towards peace, reconciliation, and stability. It has been the tradition and precedent since 1999 with the return of democracy for the office of president to rotate between the two major faiths of Christianity and Islam. This has brought some form of stability, balance, and inclusiveness to Nigerians. It is only fair that after President Buhari's two terms in office, this well-established president continues and the presidency moves to a Southern Christian in order to promote inclusion, fairness, balance, and to reflect the multi-religious and ethnic composition of Nigeria. We are happy with the reports coming from the ruling party. We are particularly disappointed in the PDP because of the greatest beneficiary of Southern votes and solidarity over the years. It is unconsciousable that a party or a section of it is considering nominating a Northern Muslim presidential candidate after the tenure of another Muslim without regards to the ethnic and religious mix of the country. We wish to warn the PDP that if it goes ahead to nominate a Northern Muslim as its presidential candidate in 2023, we would mobilize Southern Christians against it. We will make sure it loses its base and that may be the beginning of the end of the party, the statement read. This group, they are warning um, the People's Democratic Party. We know of recent, the, the People's Democratic Party has been engulfed in a serious um, leadership crisis. Uh, serious, I call it serious leadership crisis where the national chairman was asked uh, um, to excuse himself for sent packing two factional uh, uh, acting national chairman emerged and with all that is going on within the party all because of all of this is because of 2023 because we know no sooner than uh, very soon uh, campaigning activities will start parties will begin to declare uh, they will begin to, uh, a lot of persons will begin to declare their interest. Right now, most of them have not said anything, but we know the ones who are interested, who want to go in and all that they are doing. So, um, uh, for APC, <laughs> at APC, they are playing a serious game, serious game. President Muhammad Buhari is the leader of the All Progressive Congress, despite the fact um, that we have a um, um, the position of um, Asewaju Bola Tinubu, he's the national leader, but him being the president, um, Buhari is the, the head of the party. Well, um, uh, APC, they are fronting like as though they want to uh, put forward a Southern Christian in the forthcoming 2023 election. But Buhari has stated it clearly. It wasn't anyone who uh, was speculating or insinuating. Buhari said it in clear words that he wants to be well represented in 2023. And we know that they are planning seriously to uh, for him to be replaced with another northerner and a Muslim. If not, when the southern governors came out from their meeting and decided that uh, presidency should go to the south, uh, southern southern part of the country um in 2023 we saw the reactions from northerners we saw the reactions from president muhammad buhari as well so even if they are coming to uh um, act as though that uh, they want to settle for a christian uh um, southern president that is the all progressive congress let's check them very well this group right now they are warning the people's democratic party there are speculations that uh, uh there's a northern candidate that pdp wants to sponsor for Atiku Abubakar, yesterday he was told to go and rest, <laughs> that he abandoned the party. You know, after the 2019 general election, Atiku Abubakar took off. He disappeared. No one saw him. It was from Dubai. That was where he was sending all of his statements. Anything happening, he will, that's when he will um, comment or react or whatever he was doing was from Dubai. During the hashtag answers when the country was boiling, it was from Dubai. He was sending all of those, his words. 
and Nigerians told him um, the, the bitter truth that they uh, just keep staying in uh, Dubai. When it's time for election, the residents of Dubai, citizens of that country would vote for you. He returned um, recently, but the party has just told him that uh, <laughs> they've shown him the red card that there is no there is no prospect for you here. That uh, see what you did to the party, you abandoned the party. Atiku Abubakar is another nun. And uh, with that one, we already know uh, what things are like very well now. So, well, for uh, um, uh, PDP as a party, some chieftains have been pushing for Amin Utambua. We've gotten uh, uh, reports. Also, uh, uh, political analysts have it that uh, um, Nason Wike, who is a chieftain of the party as well, governor of River State, is plotting something with Amin Utambua. Ahead of the 2023 election, Amin Tambua is a northern and is a Muslim. The thing is that we don't want uh, uh, 2023 presidency to go anywhere the north. The north has been in power. You know, when southern governors came out from that meeting, that was when northerners they started explaining that they haven't actually, they have not completed their tenure actually, and they, they are still short of four years actually, and all of that. We can see their desperation um, not to give up power. They are so power drunk, they want to continue being in power. Well, this group, they're just, they just warning um, PDP ahead of the general elections that if they just dare to field a northern candidate, a northern Muslim, they should know very well that um, they will be resisted, their plot will be resisted. Without even this group saying that Nigerians are all alert, the electorate are alert, we will not, we, that would not happen again in northern and in the midst of the agitations going on and the way President Muhammad Buhari has been um, giving priority to northerners, his plan to even Islamize the country, then another northern will not come and become president. It's not happening. Our eyes are very open. Nigerians are very aware right now. And then uh, we're watching how everything plays out. What is on ground right now is just that uh, this, the agitations, they are very serious. Because if these agitations are not dealt with, it can actually affect the general election. Insecurity is still another thing. So anytime talks of this general election even comes up, the question is how, how prepared are we? The country is not in a good shape. To the extent that international community is concerned about us, they've raised concern over this country. That Buhari is feeling as though everything is okay, stating that um, his strategies towards security has actually paid off. Well, guys, uh, leave us your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. If it's your first time, please hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.